Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit different and I am super excited because instead of myself doing my own nails, my boyfriend is going to be doing my nails. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so I've already cleaned and prepped my natural nails for him and as you can see, he's going to be using the Sparkle & Co pH prep to dehydrate my nail surface. So he's just painting a nice layer of this onto all of my nails and like I said, this is just going to take away any oils and extra product on the nail surface to prepare it for the application of product. And here I'm just helping him with his technique. He has never done any nails before, so I was super excited to see how he ended up performing. Um, and you will see later on, it was a little bit of a learning process, but I was super proud of how the end result came out. So now, as you saw, he showed the Manny Boss peel base, and obviously I wanted to apply a peel-off base coat before he applied the colored gel polish, just because I didn't know how this was going to turn out, and I wanted to make sure it was easy to remove, so this product definitely came in handy for that. So he's just applying a nice thin layer. So he actually picked out these gel polish shades. This one is Violet Curves from Sparkle & Co. It's a gorgeous purple shimmery color. The next one is this really stunning silver glitter from Madame Glam, and this one is called Rockin' It. So he decided he wanted to do a sort of like every other nail pattern, which I was really intrigued uh, by, so I let him go ahead and do that. So on the ring finger and pointer finger, he's going to be doing this purple. Um, his painting technique isn't necessarily perfect, uh, but it is getting the job done as you can see. I think maybe he just needed to do a little bit longer of strokes on the nail, which I tried to help him with uh, as you will see later on in the video. But overall, not terrible. Definitely some on the skin, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So after he did the purple, we're going to go in with the silver glitter. This gel polish is a little bit thicker. Madame Glam gels tend to be slightly thicker. So he did struggle with that a little bit. And as you can see, a little bit too much gel polish is on the nail. So we did have to work on that, uh, but overall pretty happy with the first coat. So we're just going to be finishing that up. And then as you can see, there was some on the skin. So I gave him a little bit of a trick, which I think is good for any beginner or even any nail artist taking a orange wood stick and just going around the cuticle area to wipe off any of that gel polish is a really good idea before curing because you don't want that to harden on your skin so you just want to take that stick and clean off any of that gel product uh, you can also use a nail art brush dipped in acetone but for the purposes of this video this was definitely easier for him to use so this hack definitely came in clutch for uh, the rest of my nails because it kept them looking nicer and cleaner. So we're just going to do that. And then I pop my nails in my LED lamp for 30 seconds to harden up the first coat once he was happy with the application. So now he's going to be doing a second coat of both of the gel polish colors just to build up the opacity. Here you can see the painting technique definitely improved. I was really happy with how he was doing the nails. He was super gentle, which was really cute and fun to watch, and he was trying his best. Um, also, the commentary during this video was super funny. I didn't keep any of it in because I always mute all of my videos so that I can do a voiceover, but I will inform you all that it was really funny and all of the things he had to say were super interesting, so that was uh, really fun and made this process super exciting, so I had a really good time doing this video. And as you can see once again, he's just cleaning up around the cuticles. And I do want to mention, this is sort of like the second video in a series I have of other people doing my nails. My dad was actually the first person to do my nails, and I do have a video of that on my channel, so I will link that in the cards in case you want another laugh with a video sort of like this one. So I guess I was actually wrong. We ended up doing a third coat of this purple color. I think he wanted to do another layer because 
it was a little bit uneven. So that's what he's going to be doing here. Again, just the same process as before. So then he decided that he wanted to do some nail art, which I was super excited to hear because obviously a little bit of nail art is super fun. So we're going to be using the shade Milkshake, which is just a white gel polish, and he wanted to do some dots, so we're just taking a standard dotting tool and he's placing four dots on the nail. I'm not exactly sure what this pattern was. He said it was a square. I don't know if that has any meaning or anything, but that's what he wanted to do and I was all for that. So. Uh, that's what he's going to be doing here, just fixing up the dots to make them as nice as possible. And then after curing the design, he's going to go in with the Madame Glam No Wipe Gel Top Coat to seal in his beautiful manicure. Now, this is where things got a little bit crazy. This top coat was a lot thinner than the previous gel polish, so we had a little bit of flooding. Um, yeah, it was a little bit messy, but he figured it out and used less product on the rest of the nails to really seal in this design. So he's just doing a nice thin layer, and then I'm going to cure my nails fully once the application is complete. So once the nails are fully cured, he picked out a Happy Cuticle Co. oil pen and he's just going to be painting this on around my nails to rehydrate my skin specifically um, because he did poke at it a lot with that cuticle stick so this was much needed and he was super gentle with this and really careful to not get it on the gel top coat which is really nice because it can sort of dull down the finish if you apply it right after curing. And then of course, here's a look at the completed manicure that my boyfriend chose to do on my nails. So overall, I was super impressed with this manicure. Here you can see the inspiration for these nails was the University of Wisconsin Whitewater Warhawks. Um, that's where we will both be attending college. So I thought it was pretty special that he chose that design and I really liked how they turned out. So overall, let me know what you guys think of his manicure in the comments. I thought it was a super fun video to do and maybe I'll have to bring him back on the channel to do another nail art look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.